What's up, people? GNR TV, streaming done right. It has all the channels that you would want. You know, the regular channels, channels from out of state, pay-per-views, sports, the movie channels, porn. It has over 2,000 channels in general. Over 2,000 channels. $20 a month for two devices now. Not one, but two devices for 20 bucks, and you get all that amazing stuff. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, there's no sports right now. There's not really many pay-per-views. Well, guess what? There is sports because UFC is back. And there's pay-per-views because guess what? UFC is back, and the rest of the sports will be back eventually, and it's worth it. This app is freaking amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I've had it for a little over a year now. I'm never going to get rid of it, and I love it. I love it so much. GNR TV, streaming done right. If you don't have it, you need to get it. And enjoy the rest of the show. Hello again. It's your boy, Sir Sturdy. Here with another awesome, exciting video. Before I dive into that, though, I want to welcome all the new members with open arms wide open arms feel free to share anything and everything horror related including your own projects that includes youtube podcasts all that fun stuff just please join in the conversation start some conversations all that good stuff but yeah again so feel free to share all that kind of stuff and thanks again for joining the group now today i have a very awesome unboxing my friend from Canada, Steven, sent me, I don't know what's in this box, just some horror stuff for a giveaway. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be upfront with you guys. If there's something that I 100% love or my wife 100% loves, I'll probably end up keeping that. You know, got to keep the house happy. Other than that, I plan on giving this whole box away. That's something I completely 100% love. And I mean, like, something I'm like, holy shit, I got to fucking have this type of love. Not, you'll see. You'll just see. But, yes. And this background, the one on this side, my wife posted in the Facebook group because she's always impatient about me unboxing things. She would like to open them and see them beforehand. But I'm like, I got to do it on video for you guys. So I'm going to open this box. I'm going to pull these badass motherfucking shades off. And... Just wait till you see this. Like, look at this. This is awesome. Greatly, 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 greatly appreciated. A million percent appreciated. I owe you one, Steve. And you know what's cool is if you've been paying attention to my uploads, our episode just dropped yesterday. This box literally came today. Huh. Something, huh? But uh let's see what let's see what Steve sent the old surf. Steve sent Surf 30. I'm sure it's awesome. This guy is a humongous horror fan. Huge horror fan. He's actually on an awesome podcast called the Horror Squad Podcast. Go check them out on Facebook. Go check them out on Instagram. Check them out on Twitter. Again, that's the Horror Squad Podcast, and I will leave links. And they are on Spotify. This guy is so cool. Look at this. Even a letter. A handwritten letter. Oh, look at that. I got a little postcard from that. Hey, Aaron. Here's a few things I'd like to give you on behalf of the Horror Squad podcast. Hopefully, you can use some of the stuff for the future contest to help your channel grow. Please feel free to keep any of this for yourself. You hear that? Any. Would be my pleasure for you to have any of this in your collection. Thanks for being awesome, for an awesome ambassador of the horror community. Cheers, Steve, your friend Steve. Steve, back at you, man. I greatly appreciate it. I love the support you give me. I cannot wait to have you on my podcast again. Again, the Horror Squad podcast, huge shout out to that team. Go check them out. Greatly appreciate it, Steve. Thank you so much. You take this green bubble wrap out. And let's see. Look at this. The Horror Squad Pod. So what I'm going to do 
is I might do a few different giveaways with this box off the top. Whatever I give away that comes out of this box, people will be getting these right here because you'd need them. And they do interviews, they do reviews, they do horror trivia, horror news. They had some, here's a list of some interviews they had real quick before I get into this box. Danae Quigley, Lloyd Kaufman, Lisa Wilcox, Christine Ellis, Tiffany Shapis, Ed Gale, David Howard Thornton, and many, many more. I want to start working with you guys more when you see this. I would like to, and I'm going to say this out, out loud, trade, um, like when we get interviews and stuff, let's trade off guests. Let's tell each other how to get these guests on. I got some stuff I got to tell you guys, actually. But again, thank you again. So, yes, let's get into this box. The Jangly Man, and it's signed. Jangly Man. Now that is fucking awesome. Look at that. The signature is in gray, so it's kind of hard to see. But that's 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 amazing. That's amazing. I'll show you guys one more time. I'm horrible at reading signatures. I'm not sure who played this, but I will look it up. Just not right now. Set that there. Reverend, a little card. Edward Scissorhands. Steel box. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This guy is great. Edward freaking Scissorhands in a steel box. Widescreen anniversary edition. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. And stuff like this, and people like Steve, and the many other people in the horror community is another reason why I love horror so much and love the horror community so much. Because for the most part, people are so welcoming, so helpful, so friendly. And it's just amazing. We got Saw in here. Which, who doesn't love Saw? Especially the original Saw. Look at that. Uh, we got... Uh, Bunch of movies, bunch of great movies. Jeepers Creepers, where'd you get those peepers? The original one, which to me is the second best one. My favorite is the second one, the sequel. But that's just me. A lot of people love it. I love this movie, though. Jeepers Creepers, the original. Great movie. First two I thought were awesome. Third one, well, yeah. Texas Chainsaw Massacre DVD. Who does not love the Texas Chain Chainsaw Massacre? You gotta love it. Alien vs. Predator. Boom. AVP. Let's see. The Exorcist. Three. And you know what's funny is I've never seen this. And I'm doing this top 50 list on my podcast. If you go to my announcements, you can find it in there. It's like top 50 lists of horror movies. A lot of fans never seen or something. I forgot. This is actually on the list. The Exorcist. So I do got to watch and review this. Open invitation if you want to review this movie with me. Steve, you got first dibs. My Bloody Valentine. Boom. The original Exorcist. Okay. That's awesome, too. The others. Boom. This right here, I'm not sure how I'm going to do the giveaway yet. Like I said, this is going to be a separate giveaway from my 222, but it's going to be an awesome one. Let's see what else we got. Some more movies. 
Shaun of the Dead. Awesome. So I have a second Shaun of the Dead to give away. The Unborn. Two versions of the movie. The theatrical one and underrated. Or underrated. Unrated. The Unborn. Misery, such a good movie, such a good book. But here's the movie, Misery, DVD. Oh, man. You don't know how, like, happy and thankful I am that uh, Steve was so kind to do this. Like, he just offered. He's such an awesome guy. Really awesome. Carrie. They're all going to laugh at you, Carrie. Halloween H2O. No, sorry. Yeah, Halloween H2O, which this is a good one. I know I say I don't like big name actors and actresses and rappers in this, but LL actually did a really good job in this movie. Trick or treat. Two trick or treats to give away. This is awesome, too. So, two lucky winners are going to get this movie and they're going to get um, Shaun of the Dead. Let's see what else. What else? There's some more, more awesome stuff in here. Free <laughs> the face hugger. Free hugs. Stick that on your window. This will be going with the um. Probably was the. I'll figure it out. I don't even know. Cthulhu on board. Oh, that's so cool. This is just cool stuff. Like. Sticking your window in your car or even just sticking your window in your house. You like fun Halloween decorations. Ah, Scorpion. Get over here. That's awesome. Scorpion, too, right like there. All right, now, I'm going to let you guys know right now there's some pins in here that I'm going to keep because I love pins. And my wife loves pins. Like, when we go to con, she puts them all over her jean jacket. Here's the Motel Hell pin from Bambox. Uh, what is this? Feed me, Seymour. I can't think of the movie. Little Shop of Horror. Another pin. Is that Shredder? Oh, hell, you know I'm keeping this. I'm a TMNT fan. Shredder. Sorry if it's hard to see. You know what? Let me take these out of the plastic for you guys. Where's that knife at? Just so you can see them better. It's hard to see with the plastic around them. And I'll show you guys the other look at two, two again. I don't feel like standing up, so that doesn't help at all. I don't know how to show these too well. I guess I gotta stand up. I'll stand up for these two really quick. I got a couple more to show you as far as this was such an awesome box though. Like I said, again, Steve, thank you so freaking much for this. It means a lot. And I gotta do something cool for you next. Drop this one. Plastic. So here's the Motel Hell one. See that? Here's this. And the Little Shop of Horror thing is going to be kind of hard to see anyway because of the green. Not sure what this one is from, but it looks fucking awesome. 
act, act, act. Oh, that's uh, what movie is that? Act, act, act. Oh, I can't think of it right now off the top of my head. That. Is there another one? There is. Bad blood. Karaoke man. Such an amazing freaking box. Ha. This must be from Sharn of the Dead. Name tag. So that'll go with one of the Sharn of the Dead movies. There's like so much stuff, I don't know where to put some things. Ooh, this Elvira card. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep this. That's cool. Let's see. Lisa Wilcox, delicious pizza. It's a bam box sign. That's awesome. Starting to figure out where I can set things down. This box is full of amazing, amazing things. Ooh, what's this? Resident Evil, 20th anniversary. Now, this is the Nemesis. This right here, I already know what I'm going to do with this. My brother is a huge fan of Resident Evil. So, Henry, you don't even got to ask. This is yours. That one right there, because he's been a Resident Evil fan since Resident Evil came out, so I have to give him that. He'll probably cry when he sees that. I shot him out in the video. Cool little stickers, which I'm going to, once this video's over, stick on my monitor thing. Naughty Dog. Some cool little figures. To be honest, I'm not sure where they're from, but they're cool. Is this? Kind of hard to see, huh? This one. And this one. Yeah, again, sorry about the glare, guys. We got some more stuff to show. Wolf. Which all those little figures and this wolf will be going together, definitely. Oh, this is cool. Carnation Milk missing. So it's like a little box that you put together. Yeah, I know my background's messing up. Some of you guys see me zooming in and all that, but hey, gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, it's sir, look at this creep show autograph. Awesome, 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 awesome. This might have to slide in my collection because I actually seen him at a con. I didn't get a chance to get his autograph though. The War of Worlds. He gave me some really cool stuff. Oh. Evil Ernie. Oh, let me put that there. Another authentic autograph, Freddy vs. Jason, Bobby Davis. The art 
of Brett Weedle, Waddell, Weedle. Oh, I guess you can see this from here too. Shut the gates. So much cool things. What's this? This is a print from our fan art collection title, Shut the Gates. Kim Martin. Both of these. Kim Martin, Shut the Gates. Pretty cool. Oh, this is awesome. I can hear my wife's voice right now. That's mine. I can hear it. And I know she's going to say something when she sees this video. That's awesome. Poltergeist, it knows what scares you. Oliver Robbins. Autograph. What's your favorite scary movie? <sighs> this is Matthew Lillard. So, I again, I I am like damn near speechless with all this stuff that Steve sent me. Amazing, amazing, awesome fucking person, awesome guy. That's really nice of him to do that. <laughs> Listen. Go follow the Horror Squad podcast everywhere. By everywhere, I mean their Facebook group, or is it Facebook? Their Facebook, their Instagram, their Twitter. Go listen to their podcast. Awesome group. Steve, thank you so much for this. Check out his YouTube channel, also Flipping the Nerd. And... Yeah, there's going to be some collabs with me and Steve in, in the very near future. Hopefully with the whole Horror Squad podcast, but definitely me and Steve in the very near future. And again, man, thank you so much. This means so much. Put this right behind me. I got to pick all that stuff up and put it in the box. But yeah, that was just so freaking cool. Like, this is what it's about too, people. This is This is what we need in this world now is... Not necessarily giving things away, obviously. I don't mean that, but just people that are just being genuinely nice to each other, genuinely friendly to each other. And um, stuff like this really means a lot. It carries a whole lot of weight. And I love it. I really do. I appreciate it. And I feel like the energy you give off, that, it, you know, it just, it gives, it comes back to you. That energy you give off. So keep feeding off that energy. Keep giving people that positive energy. And again, Steve, thank you very, very, very freaking much for this stuff. I greatly appreciate it. And um, yeah, I can't wait to work with you again, man. It's going to be fun. And on that note, I'm going to wrap this video up so I can get it out for you guys to watch. I am doing a podcast tonight at 10 o'clock. The movie is called, let me just check because I forgot. Give me like two seconds. Ah, Steve told me to use the Horror Squad podcast in here. So what I'll do, because I already have the video going, I will put it in the beginning and the end to give them a shout out. I'll figure out a way to plug it in. Matter of fact, I'll figure out a way to plug it into this background for me too. And on top of that, the movie is called, where is it at? The Night of the Hunter it's a, from 1955. It's a, um, yeah, it's from 1955. It's on Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, I'm going to be watching it like right after this video. So again, subscribe, share, like, anywhere you can find the Horror, the Horror Squad podcast, check them out. And, uh, their logo will be either here or here. Probably over here, like over her bald head. Place right over there. 
So again, thank you very much, Steve. I greatly appreciate it. Check out the Horror Squad podcast. Also, check out Horror Research 30 podcast. Check out the video I just dropped yesterday with Steve. Um, as far as my links go, Horror Research 30 on Facebook. I have a group. Feel free to share anything and everything horror related. Join the group. I have a page. That's just to keep you guys updated with news, videos, anything that comes out from the Horror Research 30. So, yes, like the page. I have a group. I have a page. Horror Research 30 on YouTube, as you can see. Give this video a like. Give the page a subscribe. Hit that notification button so anytime I drop a video, you get to see it first. My Twitch, horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. If you ever want to be on this podcast, shoot me an email, horror with sir sturdy. Sorry, horror with sir dot sturdy. Again, that's horror with sir dot sturdy at gmail.com. And one more time for the people in the back, horror with sir dot sturdy at gmail.com. If you ever want to come on this podcast, shoot me an email. We'll work something out. Thank you so, 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 so much for all your support. Again, thank you again, Steve. And uh, cheers. Cheers to you, Steve. Drink some bitches. <clears throat> I'll see.